Hello, everyone. I'm back. Probably gonna go for a little bit, a couple hours. I just can't really stream for long periods from early on. I like to be, I'm like more of a midday streamer. I do stream early on the weekends, but it, I, I just get tired. I prefer anytime like after 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. Too early and I just get tired after a while. That's why I don't usually stream that early. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Yeah, oops. So no, I accidentally clicked it.
Take your hand and let go. Back confession. 
can't get on the stairs, I should get one on the way to my confession, did I'm proud and I don't know what to do, but I gotta keep the power to a mountain. One more time. This place is very dangerous.
that's just insane. All angels, so I just did everything. You're so sorry, sister. That's hardly something I'd expect someone sitting in a place like this to say. After the colony extension took everything away, fishing is really all I have left. Ruined streams in the city, underground reservoirs, barren shores. I wandered all over the place, a trusty fisher I can tell you. Frankly, I think I'd already given up by now. Yes. Well, that was practically a lifetime ago. I've been here for a while now. Feast your eyes. Water's clear. The whole world's a place. I can't think of a better place to spend one's time. Other spheres will be damned. I used to curse everything in sight. But if it was her will that led me to this place, I think I can live for that. You... I see. You've got quite a story. Everybody's got a story. The world being how it is. Same for you, right? Now, I'm not one to make assumptions about the future plans of an angel. But come and see me again. Your fishing interests. Anyway. Angel, that's great. I thought you were joking when you first got your hands on it. Thanks. Got it? Really? Oh, this is serious business. Yeah. Uh, didn't I tell you before? I'm gonna give you the fisherman. The ultimate tool. It you should expect some good fish. Yes. This, this is a nano suit. It looks like it's specifically designed for water. Is that right? I got it ages ago. And I knew it was a nano suit in the bag. But it's not something I can Angel, this is something I think you should wear. Wait, this... Hey! This... This is the fisherman's dream. Your ultimate tool. <laughs> the look on your face. I've stupefied the edge. Oh. If this isn't the ultimate tool, I don't know what is. I certainly didn't expect you of all people to pull a prank like this. I'm flattered you thought so highly of me. Just be glad I didn't cut you in half for this. Understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Out there. Yes. I assume the fishing's been going well. Whatever happens. Whatever happens, I'm sure you've experienced it. There's a lot more to fishing. The key is to pull the line and help. Is that so? Yeah. A fishing line, huh? You'll just have to keep it a little time. And you'll know All right. Some waters, it just there's more than just human. Uh, makes me sick. You gotta take a close look. That means a fishing spot. You won't be able to catch anything. All right. We'll keep that in mind. In my case, I always let my ear there's someone inside. It's ancient. Maybe you should... I think that sounds like a good To people in my line of work, so making a record of what it wouldn't be an overstatement. I agree. <laughs> Perhaps that day will never come. However, as we you already did. Okay. Well, that's it. Fishing's a thing you can do in a whole bunch. It's always helpful mm -hmm. for most of this. Are you going to tell me about a good spot? Yeah. So I'm talking about the path, but you have to look carefully between the cliff and the... All right. I'll try that. Angel, one in for... Well, I'm 
Man's got to have known <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Barrenland? You well know that the terrain of the Barrenland is in tatters. Also, life is limited to, well, you have the opportunity. All right. Thank you, Tori. Visit, I ended up sticking around, but then I journeyed far away. And it took me a long, long time to realize that then it occurred to me. Peace and resentment of Mother Sphere. Peace. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say. I didn't think the story would go this way. Thank you, Cloud, for the redemption. Goes well, how are you? game has been good. I streamed a little earlier and got off. I beat a boss and got here now. I'm in the wasteland. Or the great desert, rather. I just wanted to see if there was anything I missed. Because there, there was a couple items that I missed in the last area in my first playthrough. I want to see if they're in the water here. I'm not sure if I can do this on New Game Plus, or if I do this on the end of New Game Post Game. Which, again, these Souls games don't really have one, but some allow you to play it still. Instead of putting you right into New Game Plus. I didn't do that right away, so I don't know if I if it's redid the item, reloaded the items, or if they're in here now. Ah, <sighs> but yeah. I need to get, I need to see if there's any missable collectibles because in this game you can get <coughs> junk from like boxes and crap at the time that I collected a lot of those boxes I was just doing the fishing for the first time so I didn't get anything outfit wise or accessory wise but there is collectible stuff that I missed so I want to see if it's in the ocean or if it's respawned back on the last area now that I'm on a different new game. I always bring them in the Vista of Fish. Nice, yeah. Yeah, and since I did this too, I have I have like this game gives you a bunch of different t bait types and then after you do a long string of missions for the f guy that the the there's a guy that's right behind me who asks who asks you to do all this. You get a you get a bait that's infinite. The fantastic bait, or the master bait, as I like to call it. It's literally infinite. Boop. But yeah, this... It... Honestly, this fishing is... Okay. There's... I've, I've fished in other games better. There, this game is... It, it's... It's more comfortable than it was... When I first started doing the fishing in this game, it was not fun. But it's definitely not hard. It's just not enjoyable. It's better than Pokemon's. I'll give you that. Pokemon's fishing is awful. Never been a big fan of fishing in that game. It's not really a mini game though. It's more or less just pay attention to the screen and hit the button at the right timing. In the later games, they made it so annoying that you actually have to pay attention to the screen. 
Otherwise, the you'll miss the fish. Because it involves being more active. And I kind of don't like that. Miss. Yeah. I don't know... I think maybe since I'm on New Game Plus, they're all back up on the last area. I just was... I know it's New Game Plus, and they usually give me newer stuff. I'm assuming some of the outfits I collect are potentially... Because there was one box I got that actually gave me money instead, which means that that didn't have a New Game Plus outfit. I'm assuming that there are still some that aren't New Game Plus. So maybe they are okay. I just don't want to go up there, get that, and then find out it's not the old original outfit that was in there. From New Game. Because, yeah, there is stuff that I missed. But... Alright. I didn't. I don't want to spend all day fishing. I've already did it and completed it, and I spent hours doing that. Literally, from my last... When I first got here, my last playthrough... All I really did was fish and fucking finished that up. It took a few hours, but I'd really rather not. I kind of just want to get everything here. And too bad I got this one. There's a lot of drinks left, but I... There's a lot of drinks left. Not really, but... Since they respawned, I have to re-get them. And I'm trying to figure out where the last remaining seven are. At least the ones that I missed, anyway. At least I'm collecting all the ones that I've already gotten so that they won't bother me. Can this thing anno quit annoying me? Like, it's all it's doing is literally sitting there. I'm trying to wait for an attack to block it, and all it's doing is fucking sitting there. I hate these things. All they do is back the fuck off, turn invisible, and just sit there. Doesn't help it was behind like a rock. But fucking attack. Bold as is, you know, presume people who have money for that. Why? <laughs> I don't know how many years this game has... Its lore took place, but... That's Soda Cans is from the previous race of beings, not the ones that are currently living on this planet. Like the originals. Because they had a massive war many, many, many years ago. I don't know how long that was, but... The sodas in this game's lore are basically old. They're, at this point, retro and collectible. I would be surprised if there's anything that's even salvageably drinkable in them cans at this point. Also, I don't know what kind of deals they were having, or if they just wanted to go along with the weird hype of games doing that. Ah, fucking hell! I hate that attack, too! Can you guys, like, come on? See, if enemies... He just moves too much. If he would just stay in my face more. But he doesn't! God damn it! I don't even know how that hit me. I blocked that. I was blocking that. I hate these enemies. They just move too much. And they don't even do much. They just move and then shoot their poop at me out their mouth. And it's the most annoying thing ever. I didn't even know that was happening. Can you come on? I don't like them either, because I can't really tell when they're going to attack. Mm. Random box. 
Fox wanted to fly. Following the way I thought it was meant to do, whatever. Scrotum. Alrighty. I mean, I got a slew of canes. And yeah, my friend got himself the rest of the can, or a good portion of the canes were here. He had the same amount of cans I did for a bit, then got boosted to 45, and then completed it somehow after that. So, I don't know if he just got lucky with the remaining cans it being here, or I just found most of them all here, and the rest of the cans are elsewhere for me. However, I did manage to find one on this playthrough so far, bringing me up to the 42 that I have. So, I don't know where I missed the last ones, but... As long as I keep exploring well enough and fucking collecting the ones that I did get, I'll eventually find them. It'll take five years, but it'll get done. What if you had five 900 pine cones? I'd do it. I'm all for collectibles. I didn't complete it yet, but Pokemon Arceus has the freaking Spiritomb Spirit Wisps. I forgot how many, 99 of them, I think, because he's, or a uh, hundred of them. Well, he's 101 spirits. I'm not sure if you collect all 101. Either way, uh, I've done many things like that. I've completed Pokemon itself. That's kind of the same thing as collecting monsters as a instead of collectibles. But 900 of an item, I don't think I've ever done that, but I wouldn't mind. There is the... I haven't played enough of it, but I know in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think, as well as Go, you have to collect Gimme Ghoul coins. I'm not sure if it's in Go, but you have to collect them in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think it is. Or Scarlet and Violet, one of the two. If I think you need 900-something of those to evolve the Pokemon. Yeah, it's a scarlet and violet. But I've I can I've put seven hundred hours, eight hundred hours into games. I can easily do a nine hundred fucking item collectible quest. One, it would be a pain in the ass, but I'd do it. I've done worse things. It just depends on how they handle it. man
trying to go backwards. I'm just trying to angle my damn view. Checkpoint. I mean, I'm surprised with my exploration, nearly finding everything else as is. I'm surprised I didn't find all the cans, because I nearly got everything else. I got all the checkpoints. All the checkpoints I got all on my own on my first playthrough. I got enough of the upgrades to max my shit out. My health, my beta, which is skills, and my strength. I was able to get all of this maxed. I was able to nearly find all of these. Hell, I just found... I was missing three more. I just found two just moments ago. This one now, and then the other one. I'm missing literally one more, and this is done. I found all of these at one point. Got all of this, got all of that, and got all of that done. Like, I don't know how, and the only thing I'm missing now is I pretty much completed this on my, uh, without any looking up. There was only two of these prayers that I looked up because they were very hidden, and it involved getting a chest, so I wanted to do it. And I completed every mission on my own. I don't know how, I don't. Got every outfit, every collectible that I, every, all of these, all of these, all of stuff that I have here is all on my own. I don't know how I missed those can more cans than I did. It's insanity, especially with a robot that kind of tells you when there's a can nearby. Yeah, sometimes I can not be hearing it when I'm talking or if I'm listening to music or not actually paying attention to my headphones. And or if the robot is nowhere near me, kind of sometimes in the back of me. Kind of like how it is now. Then I wouldn't hear it. But it's kind of obvious. Hmm. I don't jump across. It's, how, do I, how did I get up here? over. It's not too important though. It's not a small black crate and it's not a drink crate. It's enemy was holding some bait. Can you guys stop that? Seriously? Oh my god. This is what I mean. Wow. This is fucking bullshit. I can't even run away to heal long enough without you guys going back underground. Jesus, can you... Dude. Dude, that fucking hurt. Good lord. God. Jeez, guys. Good god. I hate all of you. I can't fucking deal with multiple enemies hitting me at multiple points. Can you all go away? Like, good lord. 
hard. Okay, game. God damn. That should not be doing anywhere near that damage. I'm sorry, but those enemies were doing more damage than anything has ever done to me. Outside of a one shot. That's a basic enemy doing almost as much damage as enemies that, like, this can do to me. It's fucking unnecessary. No, I've missed a human. And a target. I see. Uh. And even after doing all this once, I love how I forget it or miss it. Damn it, yeah, because I, for some reason, my eye's reaction was slow there, and, and then it took me a couple seconds of looking at it to be like, uh, I hate when I do that. miss certain obvious things like that I completely didn't even see those the wall there even though I'm sure I've been over there if it's an angel body definitely cuz I've gotten I maxed out everything I I'm not sure how many extra they give you hello game I'm literally on a ledge I don't care if my angle is different Seriously, games that make you have to fucking aim your camera just so you can move a certain direction is so annoying. Yeah, I would have gotten her unless they... Because there's a lot of... I'm assuming there's some extra. Also, that give me nothing. Unless I mow at the max health again. Come on.
hollow. I'm up. He said there are four. Service drone activated. Detecting nearby facility. Uh, I don't know why you don't do that on your own, little guy.
Yes! Come on! What the hell? That big one wasn't even dead, and then those babies did as much damage as he was. <laughs> Hi, Megan. How are you? That was B fucking S. I love that shit just comes out of nowhere. I know this is armor, but why is everything doing over half my health or more? Guys, I can't just fight something. Oh, there's another one, too. Jeez, I can't just fight something. Fucking shit, I just come out of nowhere. How are you, Megan? I hope you're well. Sorry, I'm bitching. I mean, when don't I, though? But I'm sorry you have to come in and hear that. I should always be 100% happy, but it's never gonna happen.
lucky enough to find a DeLorean in good shape in this desert. Maybe. Mm. Maybe a scrotum. Think about it hard and long enough. Now I'm surprised I even found some of them. That's not as hidden as some of them are. You find your car and have fun with it.
Okay. Go. I was just about to turn the fuck around, but no, you had to hit me. God, this game. Okay, that attack is stupid. <clears throat> God, they really need to stop with the cheap shit. Thank you so much, Angel. I owe you one, Angel. I would have been cut to ribbons if you hadn't come along with the chicken. Ah, uh, you were about to be cut to ribbons hey, because wait. this game is bullshit. I have some plot. You should stumble on a collapse. And shit just wants to come out of nowhere. If you go there, that's where you'll find a distressed angel. They really needed to add a thing to skip dialogue. God damn it. Shut the fuck up. Come on. I didn't even see that I was in it. What? It looked like all oh, was fine. Why was there an item there? I hate the quicksand. It literally looks the damn same. I thought I was clearly okay, but no, I guess not. Like, if you're. I don't get why you can't just have your character start sinking immediately. The moment you're the moment you start to sink it you're dead. It's not even a matter of slowly, it's just boom. It's really fucking annoying. Okay. Okay. Come on, really, Eve? I didn't even move. I just held straight on. What the hell? Okay.
Cow dog. Body, can we stop itching, please? Fucking game. Everyone has to fucking kill me. Thanks, game. G give me more time and a reaction. I was literally looking this way. You think I'm gonna remember Jack's shit of this game? I could play this a hundred times and I still won't remember any of these parts unless I'm actively doing it. And, he, and no matter what, I still won't remember it, even if. That's because I don't think about it until it actually happens. Same way with combos and enemy moves. That's why I'm always caught off guard, even by enemies that I do know. It doesn't matter. I don't know how people fucking have everything memorized to a T, to a fault, to the point where they can just go in and know exactly what's gonna happen. I can know a boss, or know an enemy, but it won't matter unless I'm actively doing it. And even then, that's why I'm still caught off guard by shit that I've already fought before. Blunts, you didn't have to raid me. You could have raided someone who's entertaining. Thank you, guys. How was everybody's stream? How is your stream? Not everybody's stream. I don't know how to talk. See? You could have raided somebody who knows how to English. How was your stream, man? I hope you are well. I hope everybody's doing well. I appreciate all of you guys. If you guys want more... If you guys are into action RPGs or action games like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts and a lot of your Animu and Dark Souls content and even Resident Evil horror, game, horror games from Resident Evil Silent Hill and other things... Feel free to check out the YouTube channel. Feel free to join the community at the Discord. I do a variety of things. I appreciate you. It's a lot of blue balls. Your stream was well, my friend. Hmm. Just doing a second playthrough of some Stellar Blade, looking for crap. Stop with the blue balls. Finally, bro, dude, what the hell? Wait, what? Ads? I mean, I can't control that. Come in, Drea, as they finish the another eight. Damn, jeez, I'm so sorry. Oh, I am so damn sorry about that. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm really debating having that now because. I only add, I only added ads back in because of freaking I was making enough money to where I was getting it was getting more consistent. So I was like fuck it I'll throw in ads. Oh no, I just feel bad. I hate it when people come right in and get ads. Cuz a lot there's several people who are part of the community that'll be like, "Oh no, ads," or especially if they're newer. 
even worse if they're newer. It's, but I generally appreciate anyone who sticks around. So yeah, no, I generally do appreciate that. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is well. <laughs> you are a fool! I am going to crush you and throw you into the wind! Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. You're welcome, and to everyone who got a sub from that. <laughs> you are a fool! I'm going from to crush you! Blunts, Adam, you into the Rich, wind. Megan, and Trunks. Solly. Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, oh, even yeah. for you, Kakarot. And you've been here throughout seven. <laughs> You are a fool! I am going to crush you and throw you into the wind! Trunks, Hopefully that doesn't get annoying. I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. You are welcome, Blunt, <laughs> Cloud, fool. Megan, everyone. I you and throw you into the wind! Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. And I know that alert is not the correct <laughs> alert for you are a fool. the title I'm of what it says, but you. the Super Saiyan God and still is a actual alert. That this is a variation. Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. <laughs> you are a fool. Yeah, I can add variations. You and throw you into the wind. Trunks. Bulma. E. I do this for Subs, you. Subs bits are like the better yes. one cuz you can add variations for like every bit amount. So every like certain amount of bits I can make a different alert pop up. So step close to get's part of the process. That is true. My original idea for that alert was that so-and-so sacrificed themselves, which was my original sub-notification. Sub but I was like, yeah, that doesn't sound right. So I changed that idea to God. Because it was originally Goku, and then I changed it to Vegeta Red. And now it's a mix of both and that. My, one of my, I believe one of my redemptions was Shenron. Back when I had, like, people that were able to redeem video game requests, I added as Shenron. Uh, my YouTube sub, no uh, my YouTube sub was a Kingdom Hearts notification. I had quite a few. My follow and raids were, like, PSO related. Uh, if I can't hit this now, I'll definitely... <laughs> definitely. I would prefer God over Super Saiyan 4, to be honest. It's stronger, and it's just... I don't gotta deal with all that hair and that ugly-ass look. Easier to transform. I don't gotta have a tail pulled out of my tailbone. I don't gotta have tail... I don't gotta have a tail pulled out my ass with pliers. Or a Blutz Wave emission shoved up my ass through Bulma's technology. Take your pick. Also, Goku nearly crushed his own granddaughter in the process of transforming. Well, in the process of trying to get a hold of his own power. <laughs> Fucking Goku. Alright, time to fuck Eve. It's 
the great, the great crate. But I hope everybody's doing fantastic. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for the raid, everybody. You guys are all amazing. Stay sexy, stay beautiful, whatever, whatever you want to be. Just stay that way. Ah, mother fuck nugget cunt butt slut. I was like not prepared for any of that. I try to be. We wouldn't. Oh, that I get. I would. I would assume. That I would assume. So. I mean, I would have to be pretty horrible if you get pretty horrible for you guys to not join back, and stick around for how many God knows how many hours you dealt with me in Final Fantasy VII's challenges. Well, Chadley is bullshit. I don't know how anyone's stuck around through all that. Can't say the content was bad, I'm just saying the frickin' bitching was... Can't be... Can't be fun to listen to on a daily. Trust me, I wouldn't want to hear me constantly bitching 24-7. About a game that I'm constantly failing in. But I managed to do it finally. But it was just a pain in the ass and I'm grateful that you stuck by it. And everyone else who did... I I get not a I guess I maxed out the Why is there no cans up there? That really bothers me. I really feel blind as fuck, I know. It's really annoying me because I feel like I'm just missing obvious cans. It's not a uh, some people don't mind it. Some people do. I still I just don't I have the lack of, enough lack of respect uh, for myself. I don't like the, uh, I just don't like the idea of people having to put up with me complaining all of them. That is a predominant thing with me in games. If I get enough angered and I say shit, I just, I just don't want to have to put people through that. Whether you are fine with it or not, it's just, eh. I do want to apologize for shit that I say, which isn't horrible stuff, it's just me, just me being a pansy ass motherfucker, constantly bitching about the game and saying shit because of lack of skill. To be fair, I did it nonetheless, I'm not horrible at any of these games. But to be fair, all of those fails could have been proved upon and made better. Little douche nugget. I hate you, you stalker fucks. Go the fuck away. You... Yeah, I'll get frustrated at games, but I refuse to quit. A lot of the times I do. It depends on the game. A lot of the times I refuse to quit. Seven, I didn't want to stop. I want to, to, I want to finish that. I want to see... I don't... I already, like, quit on the first Final Fantasy VII remake. Part one. Final boss hard mode, so I never platinum the original. And I still have the determination to come back to it. The only thing that was bothering me about that is you have to go through the fight with the whispers 
and depending on how you handle them, they de it determines what character you fight alongside with. And Tifa's okay, but if I don't get Aerith, there's basically a guaranteed chance I can't win because I need her to heal me and be able to help from a distance. I need that extra bit of magic. And then if it's Barrett, it's over, regardless. Like the most I've gotten, I'm I probably have got a little better skill now with seven rebirths, so I could probably be a little bit better with the timing on the blocking. But the gameplay still is vastly different. They've improved a lot upon it in, the, in seven rebirth. But if I can't get Aerith in that fight, it's nearly over for me. And I've tried every case scenario that I could with Tifa. And with Barrett alone, Barrett and Cloud, I can't win. He is just way too slow. Yeah, er, uh, if I recall correctly, I don't remember my setup at that point, but I think Aerith had a lot of my important stuff that I need. And then Cloud is my damage. And he's the one that he's the one that blocks and parries. Obviously, he's also the predominant character. I can't switch him out if I could if I wanted. But I forgot what the dip, I forgot what the specific requirements for each of the fights were to get Aerith. I think it depends on who you take out of the whispers. Dnd has taught me to be nice to my cleric, but if he's, I like my annoying shenanigans. And yet, the, and then they fall in love with you. No, I'm kidding. There's nothing wrong with that. I've never played Dnd, but I've watched a lot of. I've watched a lot of Team Four Stars Dungeons and Dragon videos, and I used to watch Near Dark Studios do some D and D. They do on YouTube. Uh, I forgot what they. I think they're called something else at this point. But. Team Four Star or Stream Four Star, their stream channel. They do some D and D. It was really fun for a first time experience. I've never played it. Never really. I've. I think like out of all my friends, while we're nerdy, I think I was me and maybe Reaper, the one I talked to, are probably one of the nerdiest ones who would definitely be down for a D and D thing. But he doesn't even seem like a player a person who's into that. I definitely would if I just had a big enough group. But the problem is, is remembering all of the shit. I know I can write it all down, like, all my character information, but remembering all the other minor rules that DMD has, and all, like, the dice stuff. I know the DM does all that, but just, like, me remembering any of that is going to be rough. Critical Role is my bad. I misspelled it. Yeah, I've seen a bit of Critical Role. I've also wanted a LARP once, but not, uh, having having seen adults in costume like that, I don't mind cosplaying or dressing up on the Halloween, but going out and dressing up just feels kind of uh, cringe. I'm not that nerdy. I'm nerdy, but I'm not that nerdy. Going to a convention, I I would never do just because I don't really want to. I don't really like big public places and crowds. I don't know how I did, like, as a kid, I, you know, going to theme parks was enough. But I don't think my anxiety was developed that badly, but my social anxiety is too much now. I definitely won't want to be it. But that would be the closest I would. I would never go out and LARP, though. As a kid, though, I've always thought that was a cool thing. Looking back on that now, it's just cringe. D&D &D would be fun, though. But he wants to... He wants you to have muscles first. What does your costume involve? Muscles? Are you tiny like me? Well, tiny isn't thin. Mm. Yeah, I'm squawny too. I'm like 5'7 to 5'9 in that range, and I'm very thin. Yeah, you can see how... I could almost put my entire, my thing, my hand, like, trying to put my hand around it. I could almost grip my whole hand around my arm. Like this. 
I'm like 6'1 and walk. Yeah, I'm pretty thin. I could almost do this around my entire arm. I'm pretty thin myself. I've always been thin. I'm like, last I weighed myself, I was probably around 120. That's with clothes on, so I'm probably a little less than that. But yeah, you can. You could see my pants fall off a lot, but you can see how thin I am. People have definitely commented on my weight many over the years of, many, uh, of my life. And I definitely probably have issues with weight gain, but that's. <laughs> I've always been thin thin bow so I can never really gain much muscle myself even when I exercised and worked out so much so that everyone wants to write off that I have any sort of strength. Just because I'm so thin, everyone always looks at me like I'm just weak. And it kind of annoys me. No, am I the strongest? No. Doesn't mean everyone needs to be assholes. Every time I try to make myself feel better, everyone always puts me down. Whether it's a joking manner or not. That's, that's, that's what hurts my self-esteem the most is that whenever I try to feel better in the past people have always just straight denied it that's what I, that's what mine was I don't I'm sure mine had to have slowed down at this point unless that doesn't for some people but again I also do not eat enough nor do I eat healthy enough to really promote health uh, ga a weight gain in a healthier way but I also don't eat enough in a slob way to eat to gain weight. I'm a slob in the sense that I can be lazy. But I'm even then I'm not constantly like laying in my bed eating hamburgers 24/7. In that terms of a slob, I'm not. Don't get me wrong, I'm a slob. I eat in bed. I have soda cans and sh or I have cans of shit and water bottles and crap. I have chips in my bed. Like I am a slob in some way. But I've always had a high metabolism. I've eaten junk food, at least in the past, I've eaten junk and, and shit like No Tomorrow. The only thing I didn't eat on a daily constantly was like meat, hamburgers and shit. Like, food that would put typical o people into the obese status. But because my family has always have had a high metabolism, my father included, and my older brothers, were all thin. My dad and my oldest brother have gained weight over the years. My dad is drinks beer, and my oldest brother, I don't know if he drinks as much beer, but they both do. But he's gained weight, and the rest of us stayed thin. And then there's my mom. My mom, who's been a bit on the bigger side for years, but I don't know if we're thin because of my dad. And I'm assuming so because my dad's been tall and thin and my mom always comments on how much that is one thing that she's always loved about my father was that he was tall, thin, handsome, yada yada. And my dad's my height, so I'm, we're the same height, always been thin. My dad was like skinnier than I was when he was in his 20s or so, or closer to my age. According to him. But yeah, we've always been thin. No surprise. I somehow just don't eat enough, so I definitely am the thinnest in my family. But don't get me wrong, I eat like ass, though.
Service drone initialized. Complete. Service drone. Go fuck off. There, are you serious? It looks so climbable. Also, it became harder for me to gain weight the moment I started actually physically working. While most of my jobs were just me, early jobs like Chick-fil-A and whatnot for the first couple of years was me just standing in a one spot. And that was the only time I actually ate consistently daily with chicken sandwiches. However, that's not hamburger meat or hamburger meat or ground beef. That's chicken. I ate that enough to where my body doesn't like f the fucking, um, I used to love the pepper jack cheese. I can't eat that no more. I ate, that shit fucks my stomach up. I also can't drink, I don't drink milk directly, but I can't have it with cereal. If I were to drink the milk from this with cereal, in that instance, my body, my stomach would kill me. But I, I can have ice cream to a degree, so some dairy bothers me. Not all of them. Not all forms. String cheese, it hurts every now and then. But like, yeah, it's getting to the point where I can't even drink milk anymore. And I don't like milk, but if I were to, certain dairy products fuck with me. And I never had a problem with dairy. I was never lactose. I never really consumed milk directly, like through with a cup or anything. I used to have like as a kid of course when I was babysat the only time maybe is if I were to have a milkshake but generally speaking I eat ice cream or I'll have string cheese and maybe whatever has milk in it like eggs like I'll have uh, scrambled eggs and other stuff that may use milk but generally speaking I don't drink milk I never like milk as a kid, I did, but... Chocolate milk, though. Strawberry milk. Mm. I can't have that. Milkshakes bother me. I gotta be careful with them, because I love them. Seems I gotta be careful with these, too. Also, I'm a sugar addict. And my... I don't have the best of brushing habits. 
nor gen nor uh, freaking health genetics when it comes to my teeth. I gotta get better with with that. <laughs> An it was you. The Adam, scan the airborne squad number. It's a fourth airborne squad member. This is not a song. It only sounds like a song because the repeated voice is being refracted. Really? Can you decode it? Well, I found them all. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting to. There you go. Complete. This is completed. All right. All I need now is the rest of these. And then all of that's completed. Then this entire tab is done. Okay. That's most of the collectibles completed. Now all I need now is the cans and the rest of the outfits and those notes. I was not expecting, but I knew the last were here. I only had a ha I thought that was going to be a lot harder because usually when I'm missing like three or four, I have a hard time finding them. The nice part about this game, though, is if you actually look online and if it's an order of this, 
if it's actually in the order in which this is versus it just being randomized, it goes in order from which the start of the level to end of the level. So this is like the start. This would probably be more around the middle-ish. So if you're missing a bunch that are like here or here, you know it's towards the end of the level. If you're missing it here or here, you know it's towards the start or middle level. That's the cool thing I found out. It wasn't just all over the place. It wasn't just, oh, I found this one, then I found this one, and then so uh, they're all in that order in which I found them. No, they're in order in which they are actually located, which is cool. They don't, they don't give them to you in which you pick them up. That would have made things much harder. Because every guide I try to look up always had these arranged out of order, making it really impossible for me. Not impossible, but annoying. Just if you guys just need to make things in order. Hopefully we can get that done. And it looks like I maxed out my health. Because I'm not getting any more of those health upgrades. So let's hope I can max out the rooms and get everything else. Now I just need all the equipment, really. Cans, equipment, cl like the clothes and the ring equipment. Outfit stuff. I'm surprised I haven't come across any cans at all. It's another human. Technically, I don't need it, but I'll collect it nonetheless. Yeah. See, I don't even remember getting that human that I just got, so it makes sense that I missed it, because he's kind of hidden there. At first glance, I definitely would have missed him. And that's most likely how I missed the 42nd can that I found, because I didn't technically find it, so... A lot of the obvious shit that I technically missed, and even some of the stuff I looked up that I found, I was like kind of fat flabbergasted at how I missed it. I was like, are you really serious? I found pretty much everything in Final Fantasy VII Rebirths Overworld, pretty much everything word for word on my own. I didn't. I don't think I looked anything up on terms of the collectibles and the checkpoints and all that stuff, everything. But I'm surprised on how oh, I didn't complete all of this. Just by that alone. I didn't look up anything on 7 when it came to any of the checkpoints or any of the miscellaneous collectibles. It was just doing some of them. Uh, that's a much bigger game. Good lord! <laughs> I don't know why I was so thrown off by such an easy boss. He touched me in ways... Hell, dude! I am hitting the button, come on. <sighs> I can barely understand why. Thank you. God, why am I not getting into that? Okay, I didn't know you were gonna fake and then do that. Come on, dude. is sporadic. I don't like it. I really don't remember him being this sporadic. I would like it if he does more of that. 
fucking physical combos. But he kind of doesn't. That's why I hate enemies that don't attack a lot. And then, ah, I gotta get used to that. Come on, I'm out of heals. more, but you don't. And bullshit. They're sure serious. I'm, I don't want to fight you. I really don't. That attack's annoying. I was in the midst of an attack. Why is this fight being a pain in the ass? I've beaten you before. Come on. Not just in my last playthrough, but this one as well. Huh? Yeah, I'm doing real bad. I don't want to waste any more obvious pumps on him. For some reason, whenever I try to do the circle dodge, it just my hands just don't want to. <laughs> there we go. I thought I was gonna get hit by his continuous attack. Heal! Pansy ass fucking dickhead. Ow! I'm trying to do it, but you're being a dick. Hello? <laughs> Did I even hit him? Because it didn't. I was looking at his health. It did not go down after that last hit, unless he fucking has a mu uh, iframes there. That was bull. Ooh. I was looking at his health about it. But... I'm dying, dude. This boss ain't even that difficult. I'm dying, dude. There's a lot worse than this thing. That attack so much. Hello, you stalkery bitch. You just went in the straight concrete. Take that.
Okay, I wasn't expecting him to do it. Oh, ow. Oh. Can you let go of me already? Like, take it a month. I was blocking all of that. I really am hating this fucking fight. I didn't see. I don't even know. I feel like I shouldn't even have blocked that last attack. No. Can I please get my shit? Fuck that boss. I'm more annoying than he needed to be. Not even difficult. However, I do need to get into the flow of his damn swings, though. He's fucking annoying slow. Yeah, he's annoyingly slow. <laughs> Normally, I don't like using my revives on bosses. And that transformation thing I just did isn't exactly the best thing either. It, however, it prevents me from taking damage, so I'll use it at last result if I do very well, and then I start dying. Because there is times where I do very well on a fight, then I start losing, and then I kind of either don't want to fail due to hours of already fighting it, so I'll use a revive only if I'm doing extremely well. By, what, by that, I mean bring down its health and barely heal. But then immediate, then towards the end, I'll get like wrecked and just use everything up, and then I'll I'll use that, and then I'll win. So I've done it on a few main storyline bosses, and I'm just like I don't like that feeling, because yeah, in Sekiro they had the revive, but it felt more like part of the game's mechanic to use it. This game is more of like, hey, it's an item, 
Because in Sekiro, it's an actual thing that you have when you progress the game. They straight up, you don't have to use it, but it, it just feels like it's more part of the game. The fact that it's built into your character and his lore. Items like these in this is more of just like, hey, here's a revive. Dark Souls never had that, so I, I kind of just used to, I don't mind healing items that I can use that can fully heal me or whatever, prevent me from dying, but, that thing pissed me off, that fucking asshole, it wasn't, he's not, he's generally not hard, this is hard mode, however, and New Game Plus, I don't know how much New Game Plus scales, but if it's anything like Dark Souls, then, then it does scale. Which I'd assume it would. Just because it's, well, one, New Game Plus. And two, your... You get... Again, you can max out your health. Your, you get, like, items to max your health. Your, bur your beta skills, which are your abilities that you can do. These, that, that's burst specifically. But the L1 moves... And then you can max out, you can see your CUI here, and your um, weapon damage. I've already maxed it out past tier 1 at this point. So that proves that enemies scale. Just because you are upping your damage and, out and stuff. On top of the fact, on hard mode, the weakest enemies... Will... If you were watching earlier, the weakest enemies, these roly-poly, some of the weaker enemies in the area, were fucking one, fully one-rounding one me with a fucking rollout attack. Activate. Those things did more damage than that boss just there. With, a, with its roll attack, it can take me out from full health to zero in a matter of a, a second. That boss does not have attacks that are strong enough to do that. It needs, it needs to hit me like three or four times. <laughs> it's insane. And then the uh, fucking stalkers and the stalker babies. Uh, some enemies just do ridiculous amounts of damage on this. And this is way harder in terms of like damage output enemy-wise than Dark Souls. Because Dark Souls doesn't have a difficulty. Now, is this game doesn't have any trophy tied to hard mode. I'm just trying it out. I've beaten everything on hard mode except for the tutorial boss. Because at that time, I was like, I'll just do normal. And then I was like, you know what, I'm curious. And, however, though, the tutorial boss, you actually can fight later. I haven't yet, but you do fight him later. I've beaten the tutorial boss uh, this playthrough, because the first playthrough I failed it. It actually gives you an alternate scene or whatever. I will be fighting him again, though, later, through a mission, a different version of the fight, on hard mode, so it'll make up for it. But so far, I've beaten everything on hard mode, and I've be and there's there's even a boss rush mode that I plan on trying to beat on every difficulty, from easy to hard, and I've already beaten most of it on normal. The last boss I was on currently is her in the boss rush fight which is right before him However, this playthrough, I'm going to be going for the other ending. It says there's three endings. The one ending I got, I uh, straight refused the final boss. Because the final boss, the guy, the, the, this guy, he actually is following you around, well, as the robot. But he is here in the, he helps you teleport you around the areas. Yeah, he's the final boss. There, he gives you an option to fuse with him or not fuse with him. I chose the not fuse option and fought him as his god fucking Detiba state. So I don't know anything on what happens. My friend got the full secret ending. 
he said. Which involves the fusion, which is what I expected. Another tip on that is her name is Eve, his name is Adam. I'll let the religious symbolism take effect for a moment. It what I didn't I didn't at first think he was the villain until near end game where he kind of dips on your ass. That's when it kind of hit me cuz I originally thought someone else was he's not bad but the other character I originally thought was the villain who he still has his had had done stuff in the past games lore but he's not like a threat cuz you don't even fight the guy. But he's still evil enough in the game's lore that he was killed off. In, in the game's lore, he is the first character who turned himself into a robot. Human hybrid. There was a long story among AI artificial beings. Eve is one such being that was created. But there's a lot, there's a colony of artificial intelligence in space under the leadership of Mother Sphere. On Earth, humans learned to combine their bodies with artificial intelligence as well, but this was man-made. Like, the art, the AI didn't make themselves, obviously. 